All right, sit up nice and tall, relax your shoulders, your head and your neck. Let me put on a little music to get you in the mood. All right. We'll be inhaling and exhaling through our nose all through our time together tonight. So let's do that a nice deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Continue breathing at your own pace. Pay attention that you get that oxygen deep into the muscles and tissues in your body. Relax your face and your jaw. Make sure your teeth are not touching. Inhale while you sit up nice and tall. Exhale, reach your arms out in front of you. Relax your head and neck and continue to breathe. side if you can rest your right forearm on the floor if not propping yourself up with your palm is not a problem you want to feel the stretch from your left hip all the way through your left fingertips floor behind your back. Take the right hand, place it on the left knee. Rotate, gaze over your left shoulder. Sit up nice and tall when you inhale. Twist deeper when you exhale. Come to center. Exhale, interlace your fingers. Push your arms out in front of you. Round your spine. Drop your chin to your chest. Open the arms wide. Reach back. While I admit G. the hands back together, interlace the fingers around that spine. Open wide again. And last time, bring the hands together, interlace the fingers around the spine. together in front of your heart 
And now you're gonna switch legs. The other leg will be on top. Sit up tall and inhale. Exhale, reach your arms out in front of you. Inhale and come up and exhale. Inhale, extend your right arm overhead. Exhale, lean to the left side. Place your right hand on the floor behind your back, your left hand on your right knee. Rotate, gaze over the right shoulder. center and exhale all right we're gonna lay on our backs pull your knees into your chest and now just simply rock side to side just nice and easy if you want to massage the spine some more you can roll like a ball whatever works for you Remember to tuck your chin to the chest when you roll like a ball. Last time if you're rolling, Everyone, find your balance on your sit bones. Engage your core. Your shins can be parallel with the ceiling or you can extend your legs in boat. Arms are by your side and just hold. chest, point your toes, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, last time, point, and flex. Very good. Now you're going to lean back on your back. Pull your left knee into your chest, just hold it there. Rotate the foot in a circle. Go the other direction. You can stop circling the foot. Place your hands behind your knee. Gently bounce your lower leg by simply kicking that foot out. This is just nice and easy, getting things loosened up. A 
and flex the foot, extend the leg, pull it toward you. closer to the ankle. Continue pulling that straight leg toward you. Bend the left knee and use your left hand to push the knee open, opening up the hip. Place the right hand on the right hip, pushing down. Release the left leg to the floor. Bring your right knee to your chest. Rotate the foot in a circle. Go the other direction. Place the hands behind the knee, bounce the lower leg. Now flex the foot, extend the leg, pull it toward you. Bring them closer to the ankle. Continue pulling that straight leg toward you. And bend your right knee and use your right hand to push it open. Place your left hand on your left hip, pushing down. your right leg to the floor. Arms come overhead. Utilize the, yeah, the lower abdominal muscles to do the work. Now inhale, reach up toward the ceiling. Exhale, reach toward the toes, leading with the chest. Inhale and come up. Exhale, bring the soles of your feet together in cobbler's pose. You want to push your knees down toward the floor. Feel a stretch in the inner thighs. Spine tall, shoulders down and relaxed. Release your hands. We're going to go into child's pose. So you're sitting on your feet. Your knees are bent. Fan 
Rest your forehead on the floor, extend your arms in front of you. And now you're gonna push up to plank, the back flat, abdominals engaged. Push your heels back toward the floor so you're engaging all the leg muscles as well. And the knees come down back to child's pose. Plank. come down child's pose plank lift the hips Press the heels toward the floor, downward facing dog. Press your chest toward your toes, flattening out your back. And now lower the hips to plank. Hands and feet stay where they are. Downward dog. Downward dog. Bring the right foot forward, nice long lunge just outside the right hand. Step back, downward dog. Left foot comes forward. Downward dog. Right foot forward. Downward dog. And left foot forward. Downward dog. Plank. Knees come down, child's pose. Stay on our hands and knees. We're going to stretch out the forearms. You want your knees below your hips. You want a straight line from your shoulder through your wrist. You want your fingers to face out to the sides. And lean to the right. And then to the left. And back to the right. And left. And right. Left for six. Seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. Good. Come back to center. Now, if you'd like, you can place your hands so your fingers face your knees. The stretch is definitely more intense this way. Do whatever works for you. All right, shake that out. All right, everything's gonna face forward now. So your fingertips face forward, but you're back in that same position. You're gonna extend your right leg back, place the toes on the floor and push. Come to center, extend the right leg no higher than hip height. If you'd like, extend the opposite arm, the left arm. Keep your gaze down at the floor, keeping your spine in a neutral position. Release both your hand and your knee to the floor. Now extend your left leg back, place the toes on the floor and push. Come to center, extend that left leg, and if you want, the right arm. Release both hands and knee to the floor. We're going to place our feet on the floor and open up the hip flexors. You can place the elbows between the knees with your hands in prayer pushing out or separate the feet some more. Push those forearms against the knees. Release your hands. You're going to extend your legs straight. Bring your feet parallel. Hang out here. Inhale as you place your left hand on the floor. Rotate, extend that right arm up toward the ceiling as you exhale. Inhale. Exhale, release the right arm down. Inhale, place the right hand on the floor. Exhale, rotate, extend the left arm up to the ceiling. Feel free to come up onto the fingertips to give you more room to open up your chest or use a block. Inhale, exhale, release the left arm down to the floor. Slowly roll up.
Very good. All right, we're going to do some arm circles just to warm up our shoulders a little bit. All right, so we are going to bend our knuckles and have our thumbs facing forward. We're going to do circles forward, mostly behind us and below the shoulders. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we're gonna have our thumbs facing backward and our circles will go backward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can't see me because I cut my head off. Hey, sorry about that. So now our knuckles are at our temples and our thumbs are facing down to the floor. We're going to bring the elbows together and then stretch them out wide. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the arms down and just sort of swing them around. Give yourself a little love. Excellent. All right. Now I want you to loosen up your toes and your ankles. Sure, they're ready to go. All right, stand nice and tall in mountain pose in front of your mat. Bring your hands to prayer. You can close your eyes, take some calming breaths. Inhale, the arms come up. Exhale, swan dive, flat back, head up, release the arms down, relax your head and neck, and breathe. Sometimes you'll be uncomfortable in some of the poses. Remember to breathe. And step back to plank. Back flat, abdominals engaged, core tight, shoulders square and strong. Slowly lower down, pitch the elbows to the sides, chaturanga to up dog, feel the stretch in the abdominals, curl the toes back under to plank, lift the hips, downward dog. with the right foot. Keep the left, left palm on the floor. Place the right hand on the right knee. Now I'd like you to place your left knee on the floor. Bring your hands to your hips and push forward. Make sure your knee does not go past your big right toe. Now you're gonna straighten that right leg. Flex the foot, press your head toward your shin. Come forward, hands to hips again. and straighten the right leg. Come forward, hands to the floor, 
bring that left foot off the floor, step it forward, inhale, reverse the swan dive and come up. And exhale. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, swan dive. And step back to plank. Chaturanga to up dog. Plank. Down dog. lunge with that left foot. Keep your right palm on the floor. Place your left hand on your left knee. And bring that right knee to the floor and the hands come to the hips, pressing forward. Again, make sure that left knee doesn't go past the left toes. Hands to the floor as you push back and straighten the left leg. Come forward, hands to the hips. And straighten the left leg. Come forward, place the hands on the floor, bring the right knee off the floor, step the legs forward. Inhale and come up. And exhale. Our transitions will happen faster. Modify in any way that works for you. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Plank. Down dog. Lunge with the right foot. Plant the left foot flat at 45 degrees. Arms come up, warrior one. Release your hands down to the floor. You're going to step that right foot back to plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Plank. Down dog. Lunge with that left foot. Plant the right foot, warrior one. Release the hands to the floor. Step your left foot back to plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Plank. Down dog. Lunge with the right foot. Stay on the left toes. Arms come up for crescent pose. This is easier to keep the hips and shoulders forward because you're up on those toes instead of having a flat foot in the back.
bring your arms out to the sides. We're going to add some balance in here. We're going to dip. One, two, three, four, now five, that left knee goes to the floor. Arms up and back, crescent moon. You really want to feel this stretch right here in that left thigh and groin. And bring your hands down to the floor. Step your left foot forward. Inhale, come up. And exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Plank. Down dog. And lunge with the right foot. Stay up on those left toes. Crescent pose. Wait, I'm on the wrong leg, aren't I? We already did the right leg. Silly me. Sorry guys. Don't know my left from the right. So you lunged with the left foot. You're up on the right toes. And you bring your arms to your sides and now we dip. One, two, three, four, five. This time the right knee goes to the floor. Reach up and back, crescent moon. And bring the hands down to the floor and step that right foot forward. Inhale, come up and exhale. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, swan dive. Step back to plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Plank. Down dog. If you want, extend the right heel. If you can, bring that right knee to the outside of the left elbow, hold, and then extend it up to the outside of the right elbow. Extend it up. Now pull the knee toward the chest. If you can, come forward, shoulders over wrists. Just hold. Now release down to pigeon. Chest stays tall. You feel the stretch in this left quad. Now you're gonna just gently walk your hands out in front of you. So you've go, gone as far as you can and then relax your head and breathe. You carry a lot of stress and tension in your hips and glutes. This helps squeeze some of that out.
And now gently walk the hands in. Come up onto your left toes and push your right leg back to downward dog. Press your chest towards your toes. If you want, extend your left heel. Bring that left knee to the outside of the right elbow if you can. Extend it up to the outside of the left elbow. Extend it up. In toward the chest, shoulders over wrists if you can. And now release down to pigeon. Walk your hands out in front of you. When you can go no further, rest your forehead on the floor and breathe. And walk the hands in, come up onto the right toes and press the left leg back to downward dog. Separate your feet about hip distance apart and really press your heels toward the floor and your chest toward your toes. And bend that left knee and really try to get the right heel down. Switch so the right knee is bent. Switch. Switch. Both heels press toward the floor. Now slightly bend the knees, look forward. You're gonna walk or hop your feet up to your hands. And you want your feet together, your knees together. Inhale, arms come up as you go into chair. You're gazing out onto the floor. Your biceps are near your ears. You're balancing your weight in your heels. Inhale, straighten the legs as you bend at the waist. Inhale, reverse the swan dive and come up. And exhale. Good. All right, for our standing balance tonight, we're going to do eagle. So let's stand on that right foot and slightly bend the right knee. You're going to wrap the left leg around. Bring the elbows up as you do the same sort of thing with your hands. Try to keep the elbows up high. I know it interferes with your ability to find a focal point, but it's better than this. You can release your hands and then release your leg. Good. Now we're switching, standing on the left foot. Slightly bend the left knee, wrap the right leg around, and then do the arms.
release the arms and the leg. All right, now you're gonna lay on your back on the floor. And we're gonna do scissors. So your arms are by your side with the palms down to give you a little stability. You're gonna bring that right leg up. Try to keep it as straight as you can. Flex the foot. The left leg is the same, it's just two inches off the floor. Just hold. Pull the knees to the chest. Now the left leg goes straight up. Right leg two inches off the floor and hold. Pull the knees to the chest. Very good. We're going to come to a C-sit position. So your knees are bent, your feet are on the floor. Place your hands behind your knees, lean back with a flat back. That's your good position. You can scoop the hips under that. Interlace your fingers, and we are just going to go from side to side, scooping off any extra goo. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Rest your back. Very good. We're going to do table and then we'll do one more abdominal in just a second. So place your hands on the floor, lift the hips, squeeze the glutes, feel the stretch in your shoulders. Can lower down and you can go onto your stomach. Well, actually, we're going to be in plank, so you don't have to lay all the way down. So, in plank, what we're going to do is alternate tapping our knees on the floor. Let me give you a quick demo. So, here's your plank, and we're going to just alternate one, two, three. Join me four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Good. Ah, take a little break. Relax, relax your back. And now you're going to go into laying flat on your tummy. Extended arms. So the goal is just to get the arms and legs off the floor as high as you can. So here we go. Come up. You can take a break if you'd like. Come up. And take a break if you want. Last time, come up. And you can release to the floor. Place your hands or your forearms on the floor and gently push up to Cobra. You wanna feel your hips push against the floor. You wanna feel stretch in your abdominals. You don't want your shoulders up like this. You want a nice long neck with the shoulders down and relaxed. Turn your head to the right, circle your chin around towards your left shoulder, and look back to center. Turn your head to the left, circle your chin around 
toward that right shoulder. And now back to center. Now you can push yourself back, sit on your feet, child's pose. If the strain in your shoulders is a lot, you can feel free to bring those arms down by the feet. Now we're going to roll onto our backs. Pull your knees to your chest. Extend your arms out to the sides. Release the right leg flat on the floor. Extend that left leg straight up. You can point those toes. Release the, the leg toward the right side. Feel the twist in your torso, but make sure that left shoulder stays on the floor. Bring that left leg up, release it to the floor. And now extend the right leg up, point those toes, release it to the left side. Now the right shoulder stays on the floor. You can start relaxation or you can do plow or shoulder stand, whatever you want. down, keep them close to the body as you unroll. The arms are by the, your sides. At the count of three, let's flex every muscle in the body. One, two, three, squeeze. And squeeze a little harder. Hard as you can, every single muscle. And now release. Allow your feet to fall open. Have your palms face the ceiling from the top of your head all the way to the bottoms of your feet. Relax every single muscle. Roll onto your left side. You can pull your knees up, just rest here for a minute.
Inhale, gently push yourself up. You're gonna sit with your legs crossed. Arms are relaxed beside you. Take your right hand, place it on the left side of your head, gently guide the ear toward the shoulder, feeling the stretch along the left side of the neck and shoulder. Release the right hand. And now your left hand goes to the right side of the head. Gently guide the ear toward the shoulder. Release the left hand. Both arms come out to the sides with the palms facing the floor. Let's stretch each finger. Index, middle, ring, pinky, thumb. All of them come up, feel the stretch in the palm, and then bring your hands together in front of your heart. Namaste.